Welcome to the program, everyone. I'm Brian. This is Kathy. And you're listening to the Main Street Moments podcast. All right. This is a big news day in the world of Disney slash theme park vloggers in Orlando, in Florida. This is huge. And this is something that we knew was going to happen about a month, two months ago, and we've been waiting for it to happen We've to been watching. do this show. Yeah. And this is something that a couple years ago, even less than a couple years ago, I would not have thought possible. I didn't think it was possible six months ago, really. Yeah. The Tim Tracker is no longer the number one most subscribed to theme park Disney Orlando vlogger. In fact, not only is Tim Tracker not number one, He's not number two, he's actually number three, yep. and it just happened in the last 24 hours, and we waited a day to see if the sub numbers were to change in any direction, but it's now solid. The Tim Tracker is a solid third, and I want to go through this. Kathy and I are going to do kind of a kind of a deep dive because there's some questions I have, and you all that are listening to the program... Mm-hmm can let us know your thoughts about what we're going to talk about in the comments. And maybe you know a little bit more about the things we're going to talk about than we know. And you might be able to offer some valuable insider information on how these things work. Now, the Tim Tracker is is really kind of the first regular Disney Orlando, Florida theme park vlogger, right? I mean, that's, I mean, I I think that's safe to say. I'm sure other people did some things before, but they were the first like full-time vlogger and the vlogger that everyone for Disney World aspired to be. Yeah, and the Tim Tracker right now has 896,000 subscribers. And that's a that's a huge number. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that are pretty sizable and popular vloggers mm-hmm. like Paige and Mr. Mar that are nowhere close to that, but the Tim Tracker is at 896,000 subscribers yeah. all right now they're number three we'll get to the number one in a moment number two is the disney food blog the dfb guide dfb guide on youtube and they're at eight hundred ninety-seven thousand subscribers so the dfb guide which is very popular they are number two all right now This just happened yesterday. The YouTube Disney theme park Orlando vlogger that has the most subscribers is not Tim Tracker, not DFB Guide, and it's not Pagey Miss Tomorrow either. It's JoJo's World. JoJo. Yeah. Yeah. From that, I mean, that now this is amazing. JoJo has right now, as we're speaking, Now, when you're listening to this later, maybe more, we're going to go through the growth of these channels in a moment. JoJo's World is now number one with 898,000 subscribers, 898,000 subscribers, making him number one, the number one most subscribed Disney Orlando theme park vlogger. Number one is JoJo's World. Number two is DFB Guide. And number three is the Tim Tracker. Now, the Tim Tracker was number one for a long time, and he's been tied for a few days at number two with DFB Guide. Um, and JoJo was number three just a, just a couple days ago, and has, boom, now become number one. Now, we've been monitoring this for a while. Oh, about, yeah, we mentioned, it, we mentioned it a few podcasts kind of ago. Tracking the yeah. trackers. And uh, these other two accounts to see their numbers. JoJo is averaging three to four thousand subs a day in the last six months. Well, or let, so. I can give you the exact. And the trackers on that. are definitely have slowed down. Well, okay. Social Blade is a website that I know a lot of you are familiar with, but a lot of you may not be. Social Blade monitors all YouTube channels and yeah. other social media too, but all YouTube channels. They keep all the stats. Yeah, and they show you how. You know, the number of subscribers a channel has, they show you um, an estimate on how much money they make. And it's not always, that's the one part that's not always Well, accurate. it's done, that's done, but they, what they do show you that is 100% correct are the number of subscribers yeah. and how many they grow growth, each yeah. day. So the number one 
I want to go through the social blade breakdown, and then Kathy and I have a couple of questions, and this is where you guys can come in, okay, and let us know in the comments your thoughts on this. Social blade, you know, it gives it's very accurate when it goes comes to the number of subscribers and the number of subscribers a channel is growing. And it's in real time. It's not yeah, like it behind or delayed yeah. or anything. It's in real time. And they get projections too. Yeah, and this is not a, a, a private website you have to pay for. It's socialblade.com. You guys can go and look at this information yourself. And when you go to socialblade.com, you type in a YouTube channel and it gives you all their stats, okay? So JoJo's World, which is number one most subscribed Disney theme park vlogger right now at 898,000 subscribers. His daily average of growth is 4.33 thousand subs a day. That seems, that's a lot. Today, already today, he's gained 1,000 subs. The last one, two, three, three days before that, and he gained 2,000 a that's day. That's consistent. Every day, it's mm-hmm. averaging three to 4,000 a day. That's been consistent yeah. Yeah. over the last several months. Yeah, yeah. Which is interesting. To so, me. so just to give you an idea, JoJo's World is gaining an average of 4.33 thousand subscribers a, a week, a day, I'm sorry, a, a week. And weekly, gaining 30.3 thousand, 30,300 subs mm-hmm. a week. And it's over been going on for a while. And over the last 30 days, JoJo's World has gained 130,000 subs over the last 30 days. Wow. So the DFB guide, which is number How two. How much have the trackers gained in the last month? They're going to be loud. I'm gonna do, let me do DFB okay. guide first, I'm okay? i curious about that. So the DFB guide right now is sitting at 897,000 subs. Now, remember, JoJo's average was a little over 4,000 subs a day. The Disney Food Blog, their daily um, gain of subs is 300 a day. Wow. So JoJo's getting over 4,000. Disney Food Blog getting 300 a day on average. These are averages. Seems Um, uh, It's a big difference. Seems like a big jump. Um, JoJo's World, you know, with the 30,300 average per week, DFB Guide is at 2,100. Average subs gained a week. Over the last 30 days, JoJo's World has gained 130,000 subs. Wow. And over the last 30 days, Disney Food Blog has gained 9,000 subs. Oh, that's a huge difference. Well, listen to this. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, this now, interesting. now let's go to the trackers, the Tim Tracker. Okay. And I want to compare their numbers to JoJo's. We'll skip the Disney Food Blog at this point. Okay. JoJo is gaining, as I said, an average of. You know, 4,300 and some a subs a day. 100,000 a month. Well, more than that, 130,000. 130,000 a month. Yeah, but on a daily average, the average of the day, JoJo's World is gaining 4,330 subs a day. The Tim Tracker is gaining an average of 67 subs a day. 67 wow. to JoJo's 4,300. They really slowed down. Um, the weekly average for JoJo's World is 30,300 subs. The Tim Tracker's weekly average growth is 469. Over the last 30 days, JoJo's World has gained 130,000 subs. The Tim Tracker, 2,000. So JoJo, JoJo is, um, in about a month or so, at this rate, is going to be the first Disney Orlando vlogger to hit a million. I think so, within the next six weeks. But he this, stays on this projection. Okay, but this is where or on this track, things right. get weird. And I don't have answers to this. Right. And you guys in the comments right. can share your thoughts on this. Or maybe there's some experts in YouTube mm-hmm. analytics and stati- uh, you know statistics yeah. and stuff, people out there listening, that may have the answers to this. Because JoJo's number one, and he at his rate of growth, he's going to be number one by a mile, right quick uh, ahead of Disney Food. He'll reach a million within two months, easy at this rate. If he continues less, on the same track, less, maybe less, less, yeah. less than two months. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, and we're coming into the summer months, yeah, which is a busy a month, time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is where though it gets a little strange to me. Okay, be, it, and where it gets a little strange to me is when you get into the number of views. And this is what I wanted to talk about. And this is where you guys can leave us comments and explain this. Okay. Now I just want to do a comparison. Um, I'm going to compare the Tim tracker to the Disney food blog 
and then we'll compare Tim to JoJo, okay? Um, I'm going to go over, now Tim Tracker does a video a day. So he put up a video yesterday, but it's been less than 24 hours. His most recent video right now is at 23 hours as we're speaking. Tim Tracker has 85,000 views, and that's just, we rented a Jeep for Jackson. In less than 24 hours. Yeah, that's not a... That's not a theme park vlog. We rented a Jeep for Jackson. Wow. Um, two days ago, uh, they're home with the baby. They got a new baby. Um, Oliver. Yeah, that's two days ago, 161,000. Wow. Three days ago, um, Tim went to the new restaurant at Hollywood Studios, Woody's Roundup. That has, that's three days ago. That's 206,000 views. Yeah. 206,000 views. That's his Woody's Roundup. That's three that's days good. ago. Those are good views. So, yeah. So Disney Food Blog, they don't, you know, they don't post as much as, as, as um, Tim, you would think, but they actually do. Okay. So they have a video they put up today, which I'm not going to count today's video. It's only been up a few hours. So I'm going to go through their video yesterday, which is 24 hours. Disney Food Blog, their video that was 24 hours ago, which is close to the 23 of Tim's, 85,000 views. Very close to Tim's. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Their, their views are on the It's, level it's the same number. Tim's from 23 hours ago yeah. is 85,000. DFB guy from 24 hours ago is 85,000. So that's, that's about the same. Yeah, you know, same. Um, two days ago, they have a video. Uh, should you eat at Disney World's brand new uh, uh, Roundup Restaurant. Okay, they did that too. That's 61,000 views to Tim's 206,000. Yeah. And then three days ago, Disney Food Blog, uh, latest Disney News, Tron updates, Roundup Rodeo opening. That's three days ago, 66,000. So Tim is outperforming, even though he's number three, he's outperforming the number two in Views DFB Guide. His... <clears throat> I like to call it the subscriber to view ratio. He has a better ratio with his subscribers to his views. Okay. Now this. You know what I mean? Yes. That's now, a better ratio. Now this is where it gets a, a little odd. This, and this is yeah. where I need you guys to explain. Yeah. Okay. Now JoJo has a video today that he put up six hours ago as we're talking. So I'm not going to count that yeah, one. It's only been up six hours. He put up a video before. He doesn't put up a video every day. So his videos before that are four days ago, seven days ago, and eight and ten days ago. So a lot more time yeah. to, to gather So views. Tim's latest video, which is just less than 24 hours right now, is 85,000 views running the Jeep. JoJo's video from four days ago, which is his most recent fully you know, day video, is at 11,000 views. Mm. So 85 to 11,000. Yeah. Big um, difference. Yeah, Tim's video two days ago, the new baby's home. So his subscriber to view ratio is not as good. We'll, we'll as see. Let me go through it's a couple. Even close. So two days ago with the new baby home, Tim has one hundred sixty-one thousand views. JoJo, his video from seven days ago, which is a Tron Light Cycle video, uh, seven days ago, nineteen thousand. Mm. And then Tim's video from three days ago, going to the Woody's Roundup. Over there at Hollywood Susan New Barbecue at 206,000. Uh, JoJo's video, uh, third video ago, is um, going to Disney World with Kyle. That is 13,000. And he then he averages about 13 to 15,000 views per video yeah. within a two week span. And, and Tim Tracker averages about 150,000. Yeah. And here's, here, I'll just give JoJo one more. Um, Four videos back, it, it's a video um, with, and the thumbnail is uh, Super Enthused, Jackie from Super Enthused is there. It's 10 days ago with 13,000 views. Wow. So the viewer to sub ratio with JoJo mm. is a small, small, small. percentage compared to And it seems to, to peak Tim. at like 13, for most videos, 13, 15,000. Tim, um, Tim's yeah. getting about eight to ten percent of his subs are watching his videos, sometimes more. But on you know the the lesser videos is about eight to ten percent, you know. And JoJo Which is, is pretty average. Yeah, um, is very low. Not so even I don't even know if he's getting. I'm not great at math. So while 1%. JoJo is the number one most subscribed to vlogger, his sub 
to view ratio just doesn't match. And let you know what? Let me pull up and something. The question is: Are you the number one YouTuber for Disney if you don't have the views? Yeah, I, I'd say no. He might have the subs, and I don't know how to explain that. Maybe it's because of TikTok or whatever. I know he's big on TikTok, but if you don't have the people engaging in your content then are you really the number one vlogger? I mean, for having almost 900,000 subs at such a high rate of growth. The most sub, more subs than any other vlogger. He should have way more views. He should have easy 100,000 views. Yeah. I mean, Paging Mr. Morrow. Well, let me go through that one. Go okay. through that one, because he has the best ratio of anybody. Yeah, now Paging Mr. Morrow is a smaller, a huge channel, but smaller than JoJo's World, Tim, and DFB Guide, yeah. okay? Paging Mr. Morrow right now, which I just think is an amazing success story. He and Absolutely. His, his wife left him. It was a disaster for him. He was almost homeless. Almost lost his dog. Working at Denny's <laughs> yeah. and sleeping in cars and on oh, couches. Yeah. And now he's a big, big, uh, living the life. big, big deal. And everybody loves Nate, Nate from Paging Mr. Morrow. Paging Mr. Morrow has 207,000 subs right now. Now, he has a video we put up earlier today, but it hasn't been up long, so I'm not going to count that. His first video that has more than a day. Five days ago, 99,000 wow, views. Wow, that's almost half. Then he did a video. That's six, a 50% ratio. He that's did a, better than, than anybody. Yeah, that's at Magic Kingdom. Then he did a video six days ago at a Star Wars-themed Airbnb. That's 68,000. Then wow. eight days ago at the Flower and Garden Festival at Eb- Epcot, 94,000. Wow. And then um, a day at Magic Kingdom 13 days ago. 104,000. So He's continually yeah. getting a 50% return on his subscribers, which I don't know any other vlogger that has that kind of ratio with his numbers. No, and he really- That's true loyalty, and he's engaging his audience, yeah. keeping them engaged, and that's true, to me, organic growth. True organic growth. Yeah, and I, ju- I want to know what you guys think. Why is JoJo gaining over 4,000 on average subs a day, but his views are so much lower than Tim- and they're not getting better. DFB Guide and Pagey Mr. Morrow. His views aren't growing with his gro- subscriber yeah. growth at all. Yeah. You know, even you, Kyle gets better views than him. YouTube, I think. Kyle Palo. Let's find out. I, uh, let's, let's look up Kyle Palo. Let's see here. Kyle Palo is at 175,000 subs. So with Kylo's 175,000. Kyle, not Kylo. Oh, I said Kylo. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm close. sure a lot of people have called him Kylo. Slip of the tongue. I'm sure he doesn't yeah. mind. He should change his name. Okay, Kylo Ky- Palo. Okay, Kyle Palo. Well, it's because the Palo, it throws right, you off, exactly. you know? Yeah. Kylo Palo. Uh, Kyle Palo at his 175,000 subs. He has a video today. It's only been up a few hours, so I'm not going to count that. So his video from yesterday, a full day, 33,000. Wow. He's getting double. Two Joe days Joe. ago, 40,000. Three days ago, 43,000. Yeah, he has a better ratio. And uh, you go back to a week, and he's got 35,000, 32,000, et cetera, et cetera. So he's, his views are much higher with a lot fewer subs than JoJo as well. So J- what I want you guys to let us know in the comments are a couple of things. One, why does JoJo have such a low viewer count versus subscriber yeah. number compared to these other top vloggers? Because these people we're talking about are top vloggers. It doesn't vloggers. make sense to me. It doesn't match. Like I said, it's possible he's bringing in people from TikTok, but they're, the problem with that is they're not engaging in his content. They might be subscribing from TikTok, but they're not know. watching. Maybe, I don't know, but they're not. Whatever it is, his subscribers are not watching his videos. It's, it's very strange. Well, yeah. he's gaining doesn't over, make sense he's gaining over 4,000 a day, yeah. and Tim's gaining 60-some a day. It's just something is off about that. I don't know exactly why that's happening. Why do you think the tracker's growth is so slow? Because it is really slower oh, than it used to I think it's obvious. They, that uh, Planned Parenthood fundraiser they did. They've gotten political. Um, uh, the, the, the Planned Parenthood fundraiser they did months ago. That was bad. Uh, they lost a lot of subscribers, and when they got political, people, you know. And I wonder if it's the home vlogs, <clears throat> if it's too much – with about the kids, and I think doing that uh, equally to the Disney content, it's their channels changed a lot. I wonder if that has slowed it down because yeah. a lot of people don't like those. I personally don't really think I think their kids are adorable, but this doesn't interest me. 
Um, I watch it for the Disney. His Disney videos are great, except his last video was really bad. The Roundup, I didn't like that video at all. I, I thought he really dropped the That was the a ball. strange video. Bad editing, bad, just not a great video. It was not a normal Tim he Tracker video. He dropped the ball on that one. No, it, it, over 200,000 views, but it was not a normal Tim yeah, Tracker video. Yeah, it's gotten video. the views, so don't get me wrong. People, people are very loyal to Nate, to the trackers. I mean, they have a loyal audience that continually – Watch it and Disney Food Blog. They continually watch their content. Mm -hmm. Every time they put up a video, they watch it. They're engaged. But yeah. JoJo does not have that kind of audience at all. I, I mean, you, you look at his views. It's they're way, way low. And as I said, are they really? If you go by views, the number one vlogger is still the tracker. Yeah, and they have more views overall. JoJo's way down. I mean, we get views like that. Some we get ten thousand. Yeah. And we're a much smaller channel. Yeah, we're but, a tiny channel. You know, but we get some videos. Our last video on Justin, our podcast had 17,000 views. That was from a week ago. That's and more than We only have 10, 11,000 subs, not, not even. Not even 11,000. Yeah, so he, we got more views than him, and he's got a, a 900,000 subs. So it just it's yeah. weird to so, me. So a couple questions here. Let us know in the comments why you think JoJo – is his subscriber to view ratio yeah, what's your explanation? is so out of whack compared to the other top vloggers. That's that's one important question. I'm curious to, to read, and I yeah. do. I read all the comments, guys, all of them. So leave comments on our channel. Yeah. I do read them, yep. and and um, I do enjoy reading the comments. So let us know your thoughts on that. The other thing is, you know, being the number one subscribed is what Kathy was saying. Does that make you the number one vlogger if your views don't match your sub ratio like Tim or DFB vlogger? You don't or make the money HMS off your tomorrow. subscribers. The way no. YouTube works, you make your money off the views. That's Because correct. it's ad revenue. So you don't, if that's your job and if that's yeah. how you make money, but Social Blade has his money really high. So I don't understand how that it's based works. based on subs. It, but the, but it, no, the, it's based on views. No, the, so, the, um, no, the, um, uh, social blade the money is not accurate okay. on anyone's social blade it's not so. on my channels it's off too okay okay so but the, look at that. but the subs and everything are accurate on social yeah. blade plus you can go to youtube and you can see the subs and how many views yeah so i'm not exactly sure why this is out of whack um but i do know that dfb vlog uh page of mr morrow uh kyle palo and the tim tracker are making a lot more money than jojo because they have so many more views on their videos yeah. So let us know in the comments your thought on all of that. But the Tim Tracker is now the number three, not number subs. one, subscribed Disney yeah. vlogger. And at the rate of growth for um, for JoJo, he's going to be impossible to catch in a short amount of time. Tell me, guys, why you think the Tracker's engagement as far as subs. Now, this is what's interesting to me because their ratio is actually getting a little better because they're – their rate of subs has slowed down quite a bit, but their views are still very high and even higher. So, you know, the people that are subscribing to them, like I said, are very loyal, just like paging Mr. Tomorrow. They watch their content. They're yeah. fully engaged. But why has their subscriber? I thought they capped off in that market. Um, I thought there was that they had, they had gone through the whole pool of who's interested in the right. Park videos. I, I yeah. thought they had capped off, but obviously there's much more, many more people in, interested in Disney. Well, World. going according to JoJo subs, there's well, a lot yeah, more. Yeah, but I'm interested why you guys think the trackers. I mean, seventy something a day is, seems pretty low. Sixty four subs a day, average. That seems pretty low for them. Yeah, I average. wonder if it's the all the home vlogs. Um, I think if they got political, but they're they, getting yeah. views. They're still consistently making twenty to thirty thousand a month. Off that, I mean. Oh no, they're making. I they're mean, they're making ma good money. No, no, they're no, going no. All these first class trips. I mean, no, they're doing well. No, and they, no, they're doing well and all of that. But um, listen, it's a big momentum thing here going on. Yeah. I never thought anyone would catch the Tim Tracker. I really didn't, yeah. because I remember when Resort TV One hit a hundred. I didn't. I'm not comparing Resort TV One because they're live streamers. I don't want to compare live stream views to. Vlog, there's vloggers, there's live streamers, yeah, live and, streamers and it's yeah. not the same kind of comparison. But um, I remember when Resort TV One hit 100,000, and, oh, yeah. and I told Kathy, I said, you know what? Resort TV One might be the first Disney you know, YouTuber to catch and beat the trackers. And boy, were we wrong. It was JoJo's World. Never would have thought that in a million years. No. I yeah. remember when he was working in maintenance in Adventureland. 
yeah. and at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, his no growth more. is really fast. Well, listen, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. I'm Brian, always joined by my wife and co-host Kathy. Keep an eye out, too, on our YouTube channel for vlogs. We do, you know, I go to the theme parks and You'll I do another one vlog. Coming up. Yeah, so make sure you check out all of our vlogs on the channel as well. And I wanted to mention real quick, we have a shop, MainStreetMerch.shop, and we just got uh, an If You Had Wings mug oh, I love that. that we sell, and uh, it has the original logo on it, uh, as well as t-shirts. We have um, other designs, t-shirts and mugs, um, one for Epcot. We'll be adding more things, and uh, we also have some t-shirts and mugs with our logo on it, so go to MainStreetMerch.shop and... You can also support the channel by becoming a member. We mm -hmm. have memberships now available. It's a great way to support the channel. So thanks so much, guys. Please like, subscribe. We also upload the shows to Spotify. You can listen on that and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs>